dog. Now presenting the amazing Kirby. We like to call him Houdoggy instead of Houdini. <laughs> Hailed by Jeremy and Angie Carpenter as the greatest escape artist of his canine kind. He managed to, to dig under the fence, to jump over the fence, to, to do just about whatever it took to get out. But now Kirby's facing the most daunting challenge of his life trying to escape from this new $6,000 custom-built, 10-foot-high, super-reinforced, purportedly inescapable doggy Alcatraz. Our goal was to build a, a Kirby-proof fence. And... Fort Knox. And the Carpenters have even mounted front and back hidden cameras to document their anticipated final victory in the long dogged war of wits with their wily pet pooch. Kirby's been an escape artist from the beginning. He's probably escaped uh, over 30 times. He's jumped out the front window before. He has dug holes underneath the fence to get out. And as soon as the Carpenters fixed one escape route in their old six-foot fence, Kirby would find another one. He would literally climb over the fence, had to have a wood pile that he would crawl up on top of and then jump over the fence. Leaving a trail of destruction totaling thousands of dollars. Well, Carpets, carpet. rugs. Plantation shutters. Antique doors. Trim. Fence. Three crates. And several doggy doors, including this heavy-duty model Jeremy made himself with inch-thick wood. If Kirby escapes from that fence now, then uh, I, I don't know what to do with him. come up with a plan B fast. Kirby, the escape artist, has done it again. I thought there was no way Kirby was going to be able to escape from that fence. But Kirby finds this tiny opening between the top of the fence and the garage and somehow manages to squeeze through it. I never thought that one corner would be a problem. It was so high up uh, that uh, no normal dog would be able to escape from a fence like that. And once again, the Carpenters have been outsmarted by a dog.